Hi, this is John from SysEngQuick. Today I'm going to show you how to use IP tables to route traffic through your firewall to the internet. This is the same job that consumer wireless routers perform. They take the IP address given out by your internet service provider and share it with devices that connect to the router. We're going to do the same thing but using IP tables. So let's start by talking about the forward chain. Remember that the input chain is for incoming traffic going to the firewall, and the output chain is for outgoing traffic generated by the firewall. The forward chain is for traffic that is passed through the firewall. So, the first thing we need to do is add an established traffic rule to the forward chain. This will do the same thing to forwarded traffic that the input and output rules did for traffic to and from the firewall. So let's go ahead and add that rule. Just like the other two rules, we're going to append it to the forward chain. Established traffic. Okay, we now have that rule. So, we also need to add a rule to actually allow some traffic, because remember, our policy is default to drop, so no traffic can pass through. Most consumer routers allow all outbound traffic and block all incoming traffic, so let's start with that. Since our policy is to drop, we're already blocking all the incoming traffic, so all we need now is to add a rule to accept the traffic that we want to forward. So, Let's add that rule. We're going to append to the forward chain. We're going to accept the traffic. The incoming interface is going to be the LAN. The outgoing interface is going to be the WAN. And we will allow outbound traffic from LAN. So now we have a rule that will allow all outbound traffic from the LAN interface going to the WAN interface but we're still not done yet. We also need to set up a network address translation rule to change the internal WAN IP to our public WAN IP. Otherwise, we won't be able to communicate on the internet. Let's take a look at the NAT table. The NAT table has four predefined chains, the pre-routing, input, output, and post-routing. We're going to leave input and output for another video. The pre-routing chain performs NAT before the packet routing decision is made. This is usually to reroute packets that are pointed to an IP owned by the firewall to a different IP being routed by the firewall. We'll see some examples of that in another video. What we need right now, though, is the post-routing chain. This chain contains rules that perform NAT after the routing decision is made. This is generally used to change the IP address that a packet is coming from, and that's what we want. So, let's go ahead and add a rule. We're going to be in the NAT table, appending to the post routing chain, going out the WAN interface. The target is masquerade, and we'll add a comment. Masquerade LAN to WAN. So there's our masquerade rule. The masquerade target is unique to the post routing chain in the NAT table. What it does is it determines what the IP address of the interface specified is and uses that to perform NAT on the packet. There's one more change we'll have to make before we can test it we have to enable IP routing in the Linux kernel, which is generally disabled by default. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to change proxys net IPv4 IP forward from 0 to 1. So now we should be able to route traffic. So let's go ahead and test it. I've got a Fedora machine. Let's go ahead and unlock that. And let's look at the IP address. 
So the only IP address we have is 172.16.1.101. If you look at the routes, we can see the default route is 172.16.1.1. And you can see that we couldn't connect to Google.com earlier. Let's see if we can have some traffic now. Why look? We can ping things. Can we get to Google? Yes, we can. And we can search for things. So it looks like our rules are working. Let's take a look. And yes, you can see the post routing chain did do some masquerading. And the forward chain had some established traffic and it had some outbound traffic from the land. So there we go. That's how you set up NAT masquerading to do translation with IP tables. Thanks for watching. See you next time.